coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is right over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Featherweight division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sierra Vista, Arizona, USA, Razor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right hand is on point. Big kick lane. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he got 
with that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside. Otherwise, it's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Head kick lands. Battle back. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Dig and kick. Back and forth we go. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Let's throw it. Let's go. Let's go. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big punch land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice job by the longer, taller fighter to land a flush knee to the head. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big kick land. Just missing on the high kick there. Big body kick land. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Finish throwing. Finish throwing. Finish throwing. Let's go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hand on point. Some nice back and forth action here. He is all about that left kick to the body. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Going orthodox now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Lee's kick attempt there, Brock. Wait, no more strikes. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Let's recover, relax, shake it off. Forget that last round. This round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Keep moving. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Let's go. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big roundhouse now just misses. Straight punch land. Nice knee to the midsection there. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. The right hand just misses. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big kick lands. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of that. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Pretty good right hand. Moving off the center line, he slips to avoid that right hand. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. <laughs> right hook to the head block. Nice head kick. What a punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, connects with the one-two. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. He's trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Ten seconds to go. Lands flush with that right hand. Big kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just unable to quite find that range. Caught that kick there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice punch by Lee. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Hands high, hands high. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Real sneaky body kick. Nice punch lands. How about that shin? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch over the top. Oh, man, head keep land. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Big shot to the head. Nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at the whip action that comes from Jim Cole in that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, big shot land. Lands with the right hand. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. to block the strike coming back. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Waning seconds here of round number three. Nice kick. Right, it looks like three the job. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. 
I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. This great punch lands with so much power. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful leg kick throw. He loaded up that right hand, too. Nice head kick. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Beautiful kick. Big head kick lands. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Good stick. Dig deep, dig deep. Unable to connect with a right hook. Nice leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, you cannot take many of those kicks. Beautiful body kick. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Nice kick. Nice body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Big kick lands. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Under two minutes to go. Big punch lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Right under the elbow, the body keep landing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Found the target with that left hand. Need to get a takedown now. 15 seconds. Nice strike. Ooh. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Well, yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up in the middle with it. Just misses with a left hook there. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Beautiful body kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, and he lands a knee of the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee of the body, it could in the night. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Under three minutes now to go round five. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Let's move. Let's make it move. Stay focused. Hands up. Hands up. Yeah. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. It's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Ooh, what a punch. Nice, sneaky head kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Put your hands up higher. Come on. 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Give me those hard oh. Single collar tie now. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. All right, 
side, less than a minute to go now in this fifth and final round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Visibly limping here. Nice punch here. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. this fight. See, you don't really understand after you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. What a fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you